Here we have a 2011 Volvo B9 TL Right Eclipse Gemini 2 73 seat PSVR compliant double deck bus. Vehicle is one of two we're offering for sale for coach services up in or across in Thetford, Norfolk. This is a 2011 on an 11, the other's a bit newer, it's on a 61. Other than that, they're both identical. Very, very well presented. Literally, take the stickers off and it's plain white and away you go. There's the sister, hiding on the wash. Just back from MOT, that one's got a brand new test on. Uh, this one is February next year. So both decent tests, very, very straight, clean, tidy vehicles. Nine litre Volvo engine. That's driven through a Voith fully automatic gearbox. Maximum speed on these, just under 50 mile an hour. The winner is that they've both had Euro 6 exhaust systems fitted. So these are both Euro 6 compliant. There we go. Helping the emissions with the idle shutdown. Um, they're both Euro 6 compliant. So ideal for your big cities and so on and so forth. PSVR compliant, as we said, LED destination displays to front side and rear. We have a manual wheelchair ramp. Just point out the old tree deflector up there. And as we jump on board, we're going to go up. The thing I hate most about modern double deckers, the old straight staircase, space waster. 43 seats up here, all in exceptional condition. We don't have any etched windows that I can see on this one. Uh, one thing about this operator, they do look after their stuff. They do a mixture of uh, high-profile coachwork and local bus services um, in this part of sort of Norfolk and also into Suffolk. You can see if we sort of peep through the windows, they've got a very good setup here, very, very modern facilities. So that kind of puts my mind at rest from a maintenance perspective. We're wired for CCTV. We're also, I'm told, fully air conditioned. Not that it makes a difference when all the windows are open, but you can see the vents. Not sure if it comes out of all the little holes. I'm not sure. I'm not big on bus aircon. It's a new one on me, but there's sort of the unit. So I'm not lying. So fully air conditioned. Back downstairs, you can tell whose it was because of the colour of the floor and the colour of the handrails. Definitely X first group. 30 seats down here, if you count the tip ups. Again, seats all in very, very good straight order. Got this little screen here just to remind passengers that they're being watched. And there's your wheelchair bay. But you know, take note, it isn't very often these days that deckers, I said this modern, it's 11 year old, but this modern come on the market and to Euro 6 compliant. You know, normally if you anything Euro 6 like on a double decker, you're talking well north of £100,000, but obviously because of the age, this won't be. There's your capacities. Drives a salt screen, unfortunately, standard these days. Standard Volvo Dash, exactly as you'd expect it to be. If you're interested in mileage, not many people are when it comes to buses, but this one's done just over 700,000 kilometres. 14 foot 5 high, for those who heights an issue. But certainly this time of year, 
these aren't the sort of things that's going to be sat around very long because most of the stuff you're buying this age now is coming out of London with two doors, low capacity, and you've you've got money to spend by centre door removal, maybe seat belting, etc. Granted, this one's not seat belted. Um, it just is what it is. It's a standard uh, service bus, but it's plain white, it's single doored, and it's ready to work, as is the sister. It's a 2011, one of a choice of two, Volvo B90L, Right Eclipse Gemini 2, 73 seat, PSVAR compliant, double deck buses.